Morning, everyone. Welcome to another episode of the Daily Snack Picks, the show where we pick the news. Today's Tuesday, July 10th. We're about to select five news articles for the daily newsletter, five news articles amongst the most shared news on social media. Uh, welcome to the show by Truba.News. My name is Baron. I'm your host, Baron Goodship. All right, let's get at it. Let's look at uh, the top 20 shared articles on Facebook. First one is Starbucks is eliminating plastic straws from its stores worldwide. That's that's nice. Um, second, PM Modi remarks at my farewell departure from normal practice. Okay, so this is Indian politics. Our target demographic is North America. They'll be less interested. It seems like uh, Indian uh, stars. Justin Bieber engaged, okay, that made it yesterday. How Buddhist meditation kept the Thai boys calm in the cave. Uh, I mean, we already had a story about the people in the cave. This was on the new t- Daily Snap yesterday. Green Day's American Idiot is topping UK charts upon Trump's visit. That's fine. Trump administration, uh, we're, we're avoiding Trump articles. Otherwise, we'd only have Trump articles. Battlemania sweeps Texas. Between Brian O'Rourke explains to me the origin of this novel campaign event, which has hemorrhagic several balls under the Texas sun, stopping the mill to take questions and lingering at the end to pose for selfies. Where we can. Uh, what's Beto? Tamblins were cold, and chants of Beto rang out the sorts of scenes that were unheard of for a Senate campaign five months before Election Day. Texas, so uh, what is better? Oh, that's uh, weird to me. Rhode Island pain management regulations updated to ensure safer opioid prescribing. are available with much less risk to pay than these treatments should be considered before opioids. I mean, maybe. More Trump news. We saw that yesterday. It's burning people out. It's about efficiency and practices. It's cursing a mountain bubble. Yeah, so it's more Trump news. Iceland captain Aaron Gunnarsson sides a new car. Football news. Listen, North American Sardinets interested in football. Dart. It seems like Indian news about TVs, TV actors. Maybe uh, most immigrant children under five won't be reunited with parents by deadline. Okay, it's the ongoing story. Ellen Adarna has given birth, lawyer says. Uh, I'm not sure who Ellen and Darna is. All right, let's look up uh, top 20 shared articles on Reddit. Russian trolls on Twitter pose as an ex-Democrat for the hashtag walk away moment. I mean, maybe. Uh, oh, it's more this Bedomania, whatever it means. I guess I'll look at it to figure out what Bedo means. Uh, we saw this on Facebook. Mysterious source of illegal ozone killing emissions revealed, says investigators. Oh, this is the CFC 11 that we saw yesterday, but didn't make the cut. So maybe it'll make the cut this today. Thousands participating in Brussels, Trump not welcome march ahead of NATO. Demo, Senator Trump, well, okay, more Trump news. I'll see all Mueller team members text messages. Okay, more of the Trump administration stuff. Democrats, okay, Trump, Firefox, and the four-year bell to have Google to treat it as first class is. Uh, you know, see Firefox is uh, relegated to inferior versions of pages. And further than Google, see how Firefox is really inferior after years of requests, meetings, 
on to and fro, it has hit a point where developers of Firefox are experimenting by manipulating the user agent string. It's nightly development builds to trick Google into thinking Firefox Mobile is a Chrome browser. Not only does Google search pay degrade for Fox and Android, but some new properties like Google Flights have occasionally taken to outright blocking of the browser. Wow. Over the past couple of months, I've been using Firefox Mobile as my primary mobile browser. It happened upon Google Flights, and although I wasn't blocked, it did fall and fail in places. At the time of writing, though, it seems that the site is fine. As for Google's flagship search page, Firefox users get an inferior version that does not even have the toolbar that allows users to narrow search. I mean, maybe. Mueller team asked Judge to stop Manafort from using More Trump administration stuff. Soybean farmers. Okay, yeah, that's no surprise. California DA under investigation after fences posts on Waters Michelle Obama. A top gang prosecutor under investigation for a series of fences of social media posts aimed at figures including Representative Waters. Okay, it's just a guy being offensive on social media. List of Jim Jordan accusers keeps growing. Who's Jim Jordan? Oh, this is about the athletes. Uh, Montana Bishop calls out priests who attended Trump. Okay, more Trump. Physical burnout, depression can lead to major medical errors. Study. And you say it says burnout, fatigue, and depression may affect major medical errors. Researchers surveyed physics physicians across countries to understand the relationship between burnout and major medical errors. I mean, this isn't new. I think everybody knows that. Fox, Napolitano, okay, Trump, John, Johnny Depp accused of punching film crew member in new lawsuit. I mean, maybe. One of Trump's top SCOTUS contenders is a major net neutrality opponent. Yes, suppose this international resolution to promote breastfeeding. Okay, tell me. Okay, so this is all stuff we see. Okay, let's look at what we picked up. Starbucks blinding straws worldwide. Yeah, that can make it. It's relatable. Uh, this is a huge maybe. Um... Oh, this is Rhode Island's plan on, on opioids. If it wasn't just Rhode Island, maybe it could make it. Small population in Rhode Island. Washington Post is blocking us, so we can't make it. That's why I didn't make it last time. The Daily Dot. On Twitter, pose as ex-Democrats for hashtag walkaway movement. So firstly, uh, as an influence campaign, data appears to show the hashtags is boosting visibility for a right-wing hype non-movement of disenchanted liberals who are supposedly abandoning that in a, in a bid to breed division. Uh, but we both were rich as both been told we decided to hashtag walk away. Okay, this is interesting. What is Betomania about? Oh, Beto is his opponent uh, in Texas. Uh, no, it's it's I'm not going to put a political puff piece. Okay, this maybe uh, this maybe. Uh, physicians burnout depressions can lead to major medical errors. We know this. This isn't news. Errors. I mean, doctors are definitely being overworked.
Ufuminyu movie last year. It took him a year to file. Um, all right. Well, what, Thai soccer doesn't sound I mean, that interesting. One, two, three, four, five. All right, we're at five articles. So here's the daily snap. Thanks. First is Starbucks is eliminating plastic straws from its stores worldwide. Second is Russian trolls on Twitter pose as ex-Democrats for the hashtag walkaway movement. Third is mysterious sources of illegal ozone killing missions revealed. Say investigators. Four is Firefox and four-year battle to have Google to treat it as first-class citizen. And finally, Johnny Depp accused of punching film crew member in a new lawsuit. That's it. Uh, thank you uh, for watching. Please let me know if you think a uh, different news article should have made it or if we should pick different news articles uh, or something you haven't seen trending in the news lately. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Uh, thank you very much and see you tomorrow. Have a nice day. Bye.